What's up, my people? This is Showbiz the Adult. All right, man, look. I received a few emails, and I was looking in my comment section, but um, I got some pushback uh, on my video regarding boxing getting worse and not better. Okay, and, and I had a few people um, say this one thing consistently, and I just want to respond to it. Um, they're talking about the evolution of nutrition, um, um, the, the physical exercise preparation of boxers and athletes today being that much greater than it was uh, in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Um, almost like an evolution of man type of thing. And I want to say nothing can be further than the truth. Um, the first thing I want to say is when it comes to nutrition, um, just food today, food would kill you, can kill you quicker than cigarettes, than alcohol. Okay, um, the preservatives, uh, the steroids, all that stuff they're pumping into the animal spraying all over the vegetation. Um, yeah. I mean, food is, it was, there was more nutrition in the food itself um, back in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Um, so as far as vitamins and stuff like that, you really cannot get a better source than organic foods anyway. And that's what they were eating before. Physically, they were more physical before, just in their daily life. It is something that those fighters from the 40s, 50s, and 60s um, can box 15 rounds uh, six weeks apart, okay? Um, people like Archie Moore having 186 wins, 132 KOs, okay? So that says something about their health and how they were uh, preparing physically and their nutrition. That says a lot about it, okay? So if you're able to perform on that level that often for that long, you can't say that the people now struggling to make 12 rounds, the boxers now, struggling to make 12 rounds. It takes, you know, uh, six months to heal before you fight your next fight. You can't say fighters now um, are more evolved physically uh, and healthy, more healthy than the people before. All you need to do is look at their record, look at what they were doing, and look at the physical condition they were in. So I just wanted to use that argument um, to, to, you know, to as a rebuttal or an argument against what I've been receiving in my comments and stuff like that. Also, we have to talk about, we must talk about um, uh, the level of competition back then, okay? Now, the great Don Turner, the great Don Turner once said that Floyd Mayweather wouldn't even be a contender back in the 50s and 60s. He said Floyd Mayweather wouldn't even be a contender back then. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that because Don Turner knows he's from that time. And I want to say this. I want to say this. My era is the Floyd Mayweather era. My era is Oscar De La Hoya, Trinidad, Roy Jones Jr. I'm from there, Sugar Shane Mosley. That's my era. A lot of you guys in your 20s who represent Roy, uh, Floyd Mayweather and stuff like that, your era is now. It's Errol Spence. It's Keith Thurman. I live through Floyd Mayweather. I know the difference. I know Roy Jones Jr. I know those guys. I don't know Willie Pep. I don't know Jake LaMotta. I don't know Henry Armstrong and those guys. But what I'm able to do is look at the tape and know what great looks like. I'm able to look at their technique and know how superior that is. And I know that the landscape, um, each boxer, the culture of boxer, just looked at looked to be at a higher quality than it is now. That's all I've been doing. Now, what I also do is respect people who lived through it. A, a great example of that is my children and their friends and people of that era. LeBron James is the GOAT, and I can't blame them. I can't blame them for saying that. But I lived through Michael. I lived through Michael. I saw Michael, and I see LeBron, and I know Michael Jordan is better. See, it's something to, you know, watch highlights of Michael Jordan and say, yeah, LeBron is a bigger, more evolved, faster athlete. You can try to say that if you want. I watch them both. Michael Jordan is the GOAT. Michael Jordan is better. So you got to listen to Don Turner and them when Don Turner say that Floyd Mayweather wouldn't even be a contender. And then when I look back at the, let me tell you, Floyd Mayweather, 
he wouldn't survive murderer's row. He wouldn't survive murderer's row. Take a look at Charlie Burley. If you guys don't know who murderer's row is, murderer, murderer's row is like, you know, eight middleweights. OK, uh, they were welterweights, middleweights around there floating back and forth. And there was no, you know, there was just welterweight and middleweight. There was no super welterweight, all that stuff, all those little, you know, tweener weight divisions. There was none of that. It was a group of like eight of those guys who were black boxers, who were the most avoided boxers ever. None of them ever got title shots. OK, you talking about Charlie Burley, uh, Eddie Booker, uh, Holman Williams. Uh, Aaron Wade, uh, the Coco kid, you're talking about those guys. Those guys never got a title shot. They were so avoided that they fought each other 62 times. They fought each other 62 times. Archie Moore lost to Charlie Burley and Eddie Booker. Both of them are part of Murderous Row. Archie Moore said, this guy, 186 wins, 132 KOs. He said there were only two fighters that beat him in his prime. And that was Eddie Booker, and that was Charlie Burley. That's how good those guys were. Um, Holman Williams, uh, seen as one of the more exciting fighters to ever fight. And talking about defense, if you want to talk about Floyd and defense, that's where he just he was just perfect at it. Eddie Futch, one time, he he's quoted as saying he'd rather watch uh, Holman Williams spar than most people fight. That's how good Holman Williams was. That's how good these guys were. Avoided. Uh, the great Jim Murray, he said that um, Murderous Row was uh, the most exclusive uh, uh, men's group or, or men's club. That's what he said. The most exclusive men's club uh, to ever be, be seen in the ring. Those guys were ex just avoided. If you watch Charlie Burley fight. Okay, and I know it's in black and white. I know that the speed isn't right. Sometimes it's a little slower. Sometimes it's a little faster. But if you look at his technique, look at how he's hiding behind his shoulder, how crafty he is. To think that Floyd Mayweather would do anything against Charlie Burley, it's like saying Floyd Mayweather would beat James Tony. He would not beat no James. James Tony is, is, is too crafty, too good, punched too hard, too smart, and too big. And Charlie Burley, yeah, he fought at welterweight, but he also campaigned at middleweight. He's just too big. Look, Floyd Mayweather would not, he would not survive murderous row. He would not survive murderous row, man. And those guys, and, and Floyd Mayweather is considered as a GOAT. He's one of the best of the best of the best, and he wouldn't survive murderous row. People like Don Turner. He knows what he's talking about. Those guys back in those days, they know what they're talking about, man. People like Ezra Charles, people like, like Archie Moore, those guys right there will be too much for fighters now. Honestly. You think, you think Danny Jacobs, the fact that Danny Jacobs um, it, it can, can, can push, we're, we're wondering who will win between Danny Jacobs and Canelo, how good that fight is going to be. Do you know what Archie Moore would do? Do you know what Ezra Charles would do to Danny Jacobs? I'm saying boxing got worse. And I just wanted to respond. I just wanted to respond to everybody talking about nutrition, preparation, exercise. For those fighters, for, how, how, for, for Sugar Ray Robinson to fight Jake LaMotta, I don't know how many times in like two months, three times in two months or something like that, for these guys to fight 15 rounds all the time and fight multiple times in, in a month, forget a year, okay, they'll fight twice in a month. That means that their nutrition, their preparation, their way of living, those guys were stronger individuals then. We sit down and play video games now. We sit down and everything is on the computer now. You know, just starting the car is easier now. We push the button from outside. They outside in the cold, Jack. Changing the tire, tires is different now. You know what I'm saying? So those guys were stronger then. They were stronger then, man. And the food was better then. The nutrition, the, or, the, the organic food was better then. Now you have to go to some kind of farmer's market, some kind of uh, excluded, um, you know, rare type of uh, farmer's market to get some true uh, organic food, true eggs, grapes, stuff like that. That was a dime a dozen then. I'm telling you, those guys were healthier, those guys were stronger, and they can do more. And Floyd Mayweather wouldn't survive murderous row, and those guys from back then were better than the guys now, and boxing has gotten worse and not better. Showbiz the adult.
Let me know what you guys think, man. What do you guys think Floyd Mayweather would do if, 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 you know, on Murderous Row? Do you think he'll survive? Or, or if you don't know Murderous Row, what do you think Floyd Mayweather would do against the likes of Sugar Ray Robinson? Let's see. I'm out. Shh. Huh.